Uh, so today we are going to talk about the difference between the import mode versus the direct query in Power BI. Let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Uh, imagine that you are working in at a retail business and you want to prepare a dashboard. Your manager tells you that see, I want to see a, a, not a sales dashboard and I want to see this dashboard every month. Okay. At the end of every month, I want to see this dashboard. Uh, how will you do that? The question is that which mode you would choose direct query or the import mode. Now in this particular scenario, what you will choose, you will choose import mode. Why will you choose import mode? Because the data is not updating very frequently. You need to update the data every month. So what you can do is at the end of every month, or even if you are requested for a weekly uh, dashboard, that is also fine. You can update because the data is not changing very frequently. Import mode is more suitable. Uh, what exactly happens in case of import mode? You will be importing the data, let's just say from Excel file or maybe from the SQL database that you have or the Oracle database you have that we have. So you will import the database from the data source. Once you import this data, will get stored in the internal memory of power bi or the vertipack engine memory of power bi so power bi has this data locally so it can very easily access it benefit of using import mode is that because even though you are you have imported a huge amount of data because you are storing it in the uh, internal memory of power bi because you are querying the data from the power bi memory itself and it is not external data so that makes your report super fast also import mode can handle your complex calculation as well because you are not relying on the live data which belongs to the external source. So these are the advantages of having import mode. Now what is the drawback? The drawback of having import mode is that if you have imported the data a week ago, that is the latest copy you have. If you have imported the data a month ago, that is the latest copy you have. You are not getting a live data. That is a drawback of having the import. Now let us talk about the direct query mode. Uh, now imagine that you are working at some sort of a stock exchange related app and uh, wherein basically you want to show the data that is changing very frequently. Every single second, every single minute, the data is, is changing. For example, you are accessing any dashboard or any app that belongs to stock market, you know that the numbers would be changing every single second, every single minute. Okay. That means in this particular scenario, you will need live data. In this case, you will need direct query. Now let us try to understand in this particular scenario, unlike import mode, Power BI will not import the data to internal memory. Rather, it will run the query against your data source. So what really happens in case of direct query mode is suppose you have you are using Power BI. This is your SQL or the Oracle DB. You are connected directly to this particular uh, SQL or the Oracle DB and you have live access. So whenever somebody access, somebody is trying to access the report, it will get auto updated. So it will make the direct query to the source and it will get updated. So every single minute, every single second, the updated numbers will reflect on this particular report because you are directly accessing to the data through the source. Now, what is the advantage of having the direct query? The first and the biggest advantage is that you are getting a real time data because you are directly connected to the data source. You have the live field of your data. The moment there is a change in the data source, it will reflect in the report. The second advantage is that the Power BI file that will generate for the dashboard will also be have will be will also be of a small size because you are not storing the data in the Power BI's internal memory, unlike import mode. That is the reason the file size would also be small. Now let us talk about the drawbacks in case of direct query mode. One of the major drawback could be the performance issues. If you are connecting to the database and if your database is slow, that will automatically make your reports also slow. Also, uh, in some cases, the complex calculation also may not work. So essentially what I'm saying here is that every single report that will need a live update will need direct query. Every single report, for instance, like the sales report, which do not change very frequently. You want monthly or weekly in that case manually data can be imported so you guys can use the import mode or uh, however in certain cases you can use the composite model when i say composite model that means the direct query and the import mode both are used so you can connect to both the tables you can connect to the imported table you can connect to the 
direct query uh, mode table and you can combine them so that also you can do depending upon your project requirement so this is how you decide whether to use the import mode or the direct query or the composite model now let us see how exactly uh, we do this using power bi it's very simple let's i'll show you that very quickly uh, now let us see on the screen how does this uh, direct query and the import mode works you just need to click on this get data option uh, within power bi and let us say that you have a sql server database i'll select this sql server and uh, as we can see we have got both these options import mode and direct query if you select the import mode and connect to the sql server database then it will import the data set and keep it in the internal memory if you use the direct query it will run the queries to fetch the data live okay that's how it works thank you so much for watching